Well, Mr. Tapp, I know you were born in Cherokee County, but not far from Ackworth. Yeah, about five miles, I guess. And that was on a farm? Uh, yeah. You, you, mm -hmm. um, uh, and you were, you were born um, in, on June 21st, 1928. Yes, sir. Uh, so that means that you grew up through the Great Depression. Uh, we usually, well, the, the stock market crash was fall of 1929 when you were about one year old. Yeah. And uh, so what was it like in this area, not just for your family, but for people in general during the Great Depression? Uh, people didn't have much. And uh, most everybody was uh, farmers working for another personal uh, sharecropper, I guess they call it. Mm -hmm. Was that the case with your family? Mm, yeah. Who were you working for? I really don't know that. <laughs> it kind of very, I guess, shifted from time to time. Well, uh, my dad, he was, uh, was a sharecropper, you know, and he done the... Uh -huh. And, of course, you're a junior. Were you the oldest child? Yes, sir, as I was. And so Ray was a baby. Ray was the baby, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought Ray might be a little younger than you were. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so um, uh, what, what did you grow? What did your father grow? As uh, far as I know, cotton and corn mm -hmm. in a vegetable garden, you know. Had, families had to feed their own self, practically back then. Mm -hmm. Have some uh, hogs and such as that, chickens. Yeah. Yeah, you raised uh, used the two hogs. Did you feel like you had enough to eat when you were growing up? No, sir, we didn't. You didn't. So it was pretty rough. So, um, what about, uh, did, uh, did electricity come in while you were still in the country, or did you have to wait till you moved into Ackworth? Well, we had to wait till we moved into Ackworth. We still had to lamp light and a fireplace. I guess so. If you were born in 28, that would have been about 1935 that you moved in. Mm -hmm. So that's a little early for the rural electrification. Yeah, we didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. Had running water, but had to run to get it. <laughs> <laughs> How far was the well from the house? I'd say 50 feet. Mm -hmm. That's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> not, not as uh, convenient as <laughs> having indoor plumbing, though, was it? Well, we had an outhouse. And have, well, that about 50 feet away, too? Yeah. yeah. Uh, how big was the farm? You, you remember? Mm, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know how big it was. Probably seemed pretty big when you were young. Well... At that time, I didn't know much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> had you started the school before you moved into Ackworth? No, no, so, I hadn't. Okay, so wh why did your family move into Ackworth? Well, they moved to uh, uh, Way Green Road oh. out, out from Kennesaw. Uh -huh. That's from where I started school from. Oh, which school? What was the school? Kennesaw in oh, the oh. city. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so you were within the city limits of Kennesaw? No, I was in the county, but, uh, but you could go to the but we had to ride the bus. Right, and I, well, the, I guess the Kennesaw school was part of the Cobb County school system. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So, uh, so you started the first grade at age seven? Uh, six. At age six? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, let's see, uh, so, we, so we're on Wade Green Road after you were in Cherokee County. Mm -hmm. uh, and then then you moved into Ackworth from Wade Green Road? Yes, sir. How old were you then? Seven. Seven. Yeah, I started school at Eli Whitney. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. So you lived in the Mill Village? In the Mill Village. Well, talk about that a little bit. Uh, did your father work at the mill? What did, what did he do? Uh, I think he worked in a weave shop. Okay. And mother worked in the spinning room. Oh, both of them did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you, uh, you worked in the mill too for a short while, didn't you? When I was 16, yeah. Uh -huh. It had to be 16? Yeah. Uh, so, um, okay, so so they're working in, in the mill and you went to Eli Whitney. 
Talk mm -hmm. about that. What was what was it like to go to the Eli Whitney School? Well, it was uh, had four classes in the same big building, uh -huh. and uh, Miss uh, Corley was our teacher. And she was a good teacher, mm -hmm. but she strict. She was real strict. Was she? Did you like going to school? Mm, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Did you uh, uh, have play any games or baseball well, or anything? Well, I played baseball, played marbles, uh -huh. shot a flip, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. Uh, the uh, did uh, did you live in uh, a house that you rented from the the mill when you were work when you were living in the mill? Then? I think they furnished a the house. But you had to pay a little rent, maybe the electric bill or and the coal bill. They first all everything. Mm -hmm. I know eventually um, um, a lot of people bought those houses. Yeah. Were, were your parents ever able to buy the house? They never did buy it. So, so they just rented it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so they continued to work at the mill for. You know how long they worked at the mill. Mm. I mean, were they still working there when you went off to Korea? No, they, no, they you know. Uh, my mother's dad and mother lived in Cherokee County, uh -huh. and they got sick, and so mother and dad moved in the house with them out there. Okay. After I, but that was quite, quite a while later. Yeah. But you, you, you grew I up. I grew up in the village, uh -huh. up to about uh, 17, 18, something like that. Okay. Um, now, I know that um, yeah, you had a paper route by, I guess, about 1939, I guess, if you were 11 years yes. old at the time. Mm. What was your route? Uh, where, uh, what part of the city did you carry? It started in the center of town and went north. Uh -huh. You went north. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, around town and north. Did you uh, ride a bicycle? To bicycle. The I bought my own bicycle. Mm -hmm. uh, and did you have to collect uh, collect from your customers, or did they mail it in? Had to I had to collect it. So, yeah, so you that had was to quite a the... chore. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know I had a paper route growing up, and we made something like about seven dollars a week, maybe. Mm -hmm. What about you? It's something like that. Didn't make a lot. Didn't, didn't make a lot. Uh, which which paper was it that you were delivering? The Atlanta Journal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you remember uh, what? Um, I, I think what, when we were doing the the paper, I grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee. Paper cost forty cents, and I think we got to keep. Fourteen cents, I believe. I don't remember exactly, but it was five cents a day, uh -huh. and uh, I think Sunday paper was either ten or fifteen cents. I don't know. It's incredible, so. isn't it? Yeah. But then this is the Great Depression, so yeah. not a lot of people could afford that. No, they couldn't. So, uh, how long did you do the paper route? About four years. Okay. So and and then uh, you worked for uh, uh, Allen's Five and Dime Store. Yeah. Was that your next job? Yeah. And, uh, and I know you put on your form that um, you got fired from that job. Yeah. <laughs> Only job you ever got fired from. <laughs> Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, on Mr. Allen, he was kind of a mean fella. <laughs> he, he was mean to everybody, and uh, I forget the boy's name. We were working together. And he told us to go over in the other building and clean out, you know, move things around. I don't know what all he was wanting to do. But we just got over there. He followed us over there. And we just had got in there and hadn't started doing anything. And he come in there. He said, y'all not going to work? I said, we just got here. And he, he said, they're both fired. It's mm. like that. Mm. So much for that job. Yeah, surprise. <laughs> uh, now, is this when you go to work at the grocery store? Uh, I, I, uh, Ozell Fowler? Yeah. Uh, that was the next job? Uh-huh. 
Talk about that a little bit. Well, you got uh, delivery? I got my driver's license at 15 okay. and started delivering groceries with a 37 Ford pickup truck. Okay. Well, 37 Ford just uh, wasn't that old at that time. No, it wasn't. It was a pretty nice truck, but they had mechanical brakes. Oh, so, the, so this was the grocery store's truck? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so um, um, uh, did uh, everybody around Ackworth have their gro groceries delivered, or how did that work? Um, I don't think everybody did. I believe she was the only one. Uh, her husband was one that owned that shell station, too, that I bought my bicycle from. Uh -huh. Uh, so, uh, so you delivered groceries. Any any stories from doing that that you could remember? Talking? Well, uh, there was a lumber yard across the railroad from her store, and she had a contract to pick up blocks where they saw off the end of the lumber, uh -huh. and people would buy them, oh. and then I'd deliver them with a truck mm -hmm. when I wasn't delivering groceries. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so people just wanted to buy the the blocks at the end of the lumber. Mm -hmm. What what did they do with them? They burned them in the fireplace. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Start fires. Okay. Everybody burned coal back then. Yeah. yeah. They didn't have gas. Sure. Uh, so, um, what was it like in Ackworth in those days? Do you what kind of memories do you have of growing up in Ackworth? Well, I remember going to the picture show back when I was young. Uh -huh. And Robert Brooks, he was a man that lived in Ackworth uh -huh. longer than I had. He uh -huh. run the uh, projector. Uh -huh. How big was the theater? Well, it's still, the building's still here. It was that big building on the end down there. Uh -huh. It was pretty good size. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how big. What kind of movies did you see down there? Uh, cowboy movies. Uh -huh. So you go mainly on Saturday morning? Saturday, mm-hmm. How much did it cost? Uh, 10 cents. <laughs> you could get a Coke and a bag of popcorn and go to the movies for a quarter. Not a bad deal, I guess. <laughs> if you had a quarter. If you had a quarter. <laughs> um, was there any um, class distinction between people that lived in the Mill Village and other people that lived in town? A little. The people that lived in town was able to dress a little better than we did. Yeah. Is that the big difference? Big, one big difference. Did they treat you any different? Well, some of them did. How did you feel about that? I didn't like it. I guess not. <laughs> but we solved that problem. How, how was that? Yeah, we get the best of them. Oh, okay. And how did you do that? You talking about in sports or, or, or how? Well, well, I only had one real bad pipe. Oh, I see. And uh, this fella picked on me. What uh -huh. well, I talk about it? But well, who won the fight? I did. <laughs> so that's the way. But he got the best of me for a while. Uh, we go out on the playground for recess, mm -hmm. and if I was standing like this, you know, he'd be over there, and my back would be to him. Mm -hmm. He'd come running and knock me down. Mm. And uh, he'd done that whole school year. I was afraid of the teacher. I wasn't afraid of him. Uh -huh. The last day of school, I got the best of him. Uh -huh. I, I, I planned it. And I was standing there, you know, I, I heard him coming. Mm -hmm. And when he got to me, I just went down like that. He went over me. Mm -hmm. I'd like to beat him to death. <laughs> What did the school think about that? I went home. Oh, that was the last day of school. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened about it. That's good. That's good. 
the people didn't bother me no more. <laughs> no, I would bet not. Um, did um, yeah, how how far did you go in school? Uh, eighth grade. Uh -huh. And then what did you do after that? I said eighth grade. That would have made you about fourteen or fifteen, sixteen by that time. Yeah. And so that's when you went to work in the mill. Yeah, that's when I went to work in the mill. And what was your job in the mill? I worked in the weave shop. Same thing that Dad did. Mm -hmm. Talk but, about that a little bit. Well, I didn't work there too long either. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't like it? I didn't like it. Too dusty and noisy. Mm -hmm. How long was the work day? Eight hours. Yeah, I guess by that time it'd have to be eight hours. Mm -hmm. right? How much money could you make for eight hours? Mm -hmm. It was less than a dollar an hour, I forget now. I think a lot of the, but you had some government regulation by that time that I think a lot of them were paying like 30 cents um, an hour or something like that. So, uh, okay, so um, so you didn't work long in the mill. Um, uh, let's see, you worked in a sawmill for a while too. That's when we lived in the country, but with my granddad's grandmother. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and who owned the, the sawmill? Uh, the Future Brothers from here in Ackworth, the twins. Oh, okay. But, but the mill was out in the country. Mm, oh yeah, they moved it from one section to another. It was a moving sawmill. Oh. They, they'd move it to a place and clean up. I guess they bought the timber from people, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is an outdoor job? Mm-hmm. And what exactly were you doing? Look at uh, at the mill where the, the saw would saw the slabs off, and then they'd saw lumber, and you'd carry slabs over here and the lumber over here, uh -huh. and the strips in the pile. Okay, so you you were doing the sawing, or you were doing no, the carrying? No, I was doing the carrying of the lumber and strips and things. That had to be pretty tiring, I would think. It was. Nasty, too. Mm. That pine, pine rosin get oh. all over you. So. Mm -hmm. well. But it was money. You made money at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you were always able to keep a job during the Depression. Our, I, I, let's see, by this time, though, uh, uh, we're beyond the Depression, I guess. Yeah. This would be about the time of World War II. Something like that. I was about 18, I guess. Okay. Okay. So that would be... Like 1946 by that time, I guess. Somewhere around that. Yeah. I went to work in, for Western Union in 47, I think it was. Mm, okay. What did you do for them? They were taking down the old postal telegraph line. Oh. And. Uh, so you were taking down the, the, the poles? We were taking down the wire and the poles and everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. Started in uh, North Carolina and went to Florida. Is that right? Mm hmm. You got to travel a little bit. Yeah. So, did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. It was hard work, but I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And then, I guess, uh, after you'd been doing that for a while, is that when um, uh, the Korean War comes about? Mm -hmm. So you would have been, I guess, um, 22? 20, yeah, somewhere. Let's 21 or 2, something like by, the, by that time. The war broke out in 1950. So you would have been 28 to, that'd be 22. Yeah. Okay. And um, so uh, do they reinstate the draft for the Korean War? Is that the way it worked? Must have. And you got drafted? Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, so why don't you talk, just talk as much as you'd like to about that. Well, I got to agree Greetings in the paper says, your friends and neighbors have chosen you. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> Quite an honor. <laughs> uh, where'd you go for basic training? I went to uh, Fort Jackson first. Yeah. Stayed, I don't know, seven, eight days. Then it sent us to Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. 
and we took basic training there. Probably a little cooler than Fort Jackson. A lot cooler. <laughs> yeah, it was in uh, November, I think. Last October, first November was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the training for infantry. Uh, it was in the infantry, but uh, they trained us for uh, uh, engineers, combat mm -hmm. engineers, mm -hmm. bonds and booby traps. Mm -hmm. So that's what your job was in the military mm -hmm. with the engineering to do what you're, I guess, uh, carrying uh, phone lines or carrying messages. What exactly did you? Well, it did, was did mines and booby traps. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, you set them in the field, that put was the barbed end. wire around them. Uh -huh. We don't, we had to go out in front of the infantry. That sounds like about as dangerous a job as you could have. And uh, I guess the risk of them blowing up as well. So, so you got sent to Korea, and. Um, uh, if you don't want to talk about it, we'll just go on to some other things. But you spent 11 months in Korea. Yeah. And so it gets pretty cold in Korea too, doesn't it? Real cold. Yeah. They say, I never did see a thermometer, but they said it got 120. I don't know. 120? In the summertime. Got that hot? Yeah. Hmm. And I don't know, other things stay frozen in the winter. I don't know how cold it was. Yeah. I know a lot of the boys lost their feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you stayed longer than most people did, it sounds well, like. Well, our whole outfit did, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess the reason was about that, they started talking peace, you know, just mm -hmm. just before I left over there. Mm -hmm. And the other thing quieted down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess the, uh, well, um, uh, the year that you were there, uh, the, the uh, North Koreans and I guess the Chinese came in, they got way into South Korea mm -hmm. at one point. That was just before I got there. They okay. started pushing them back. Okay, so by the time you got there, they pushed them back into North Korea? Mm, well, close to North Korea, yeah. 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 So that's where you were for the most part, mm -hmm. right around uh, the the dividing line between South the and The 38th parallel, yeah. 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 That was a big mistake, I think, when MacArthur persuaded Truman to go north. Mm -hmm. So uh, That's when they changed generals. Yeah, yeah. They changed the general. Uh, well, I can't remember his name now. Anyway, he took MacArthur out. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I can't think right now who the general was either. I ought to. Hmm. Thought I'd never forget that, but I did. Yeah, I can't think. Ridge, of was Ridgeway? Could be Ridgeway. Yeah, Ridgeway. Yeah. But, well. yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, you you came back to the states, but you were still in the military for when did you get out? I got out and. Uh, July of 52. Okay. So you were there two years then? Mm. Or Tw almost 21 two. months. Yeah. 21 yeah. months. Mm -hmm. They sent me back to uh, Wisconsin. Okay. Spent another winter up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did they have you doing there? Well, we didn't do much. They uh, sent us out to on the board of a Lake Erie. I think it was, mm -hmm. or some lake, and they were shooting things at airplanes, or things that come by. Was an airplane pulling things? Mm -hmm. it didn't make sense to me, but they were shooting at it with mm -hmm. things. That's about all they'd done. <laughs> we didn't do a whole lot back then. Yeah. So you got out, and then what did you do when you got out? Did you come back to Africa? Uh, I went to Body and Fender School on the GI Bill. Oh, okay. Where, where was that? In Chicago. Oh. Uh huh. And how long? How long did that last? Well, 
I went up there in the summertime and it started getting wintertime. I quit that too. Okay. But I almost finished it. Mm -hmm. I got enough out of it to could get me a job. Mm -hmm. so, so you came back to Ackworth then? Mm -hmm. And where did you work for? I went to work for Phillips Body and Fender in Atlanta. Uh -huh. How long did you work there? Mm. Well, I moved back to Marietta. That was after I married. Uh -huh. And I moved back to Marietta and went to work for Cranes. Okay. I don't remember how long I worked down there. It wasn't long, about a year, I guess. Mm -hmm. I didn't like living in Atlanta. <laughs> I guess not. Yeah, so you wanted to move back this way? Mm-hmm. And so Cranes were, was in Marietta? Mm-hmm. Cranes, Hershey and Limousines. Uh-huh. So did you live in Marietta then? I lived there for a while. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, when did you get married? 52. Okay. 52, right about the time you got out of the military? Well, I mean, 53 is when I got married. Oh, 53. I lived out, out in 52. Uh-huh. And so you were back here when you got married? Mm-hmm. And talk about that a little bit. Well, I don't know what to talk about well, that. Well, who did you marry, and how did you meet her, and all well, of that? I married Estelle Crawford. I met her at a, a dance. Uh -huh. We didn't need one dance, but uh -huh. we got acquainted. Uh -huh. And this was in Atlanta? No, it was... Uh, Around, around Kennesaw, Ackworth. Okay. Different places. Uh -huh. So they held dances and you well, just went Back to... then, you know, people would uh, have a big house. They'd uh -huh. get people, young people, to come over uh -huh. on Saturday night and they'd make music and dance and all. Okay. But they didn't do any drinking. Uh -huh. uh, some of the boys would, you know, but they wouldn't come in. I'm not even sure it was illegal in Cobb County. No, it thing. wasn't. It was a lot of moonshine going on. <laughs> okay. All that time. Uh-huh. Back when we lived on the farm, even. Uh-huh. Sometimes I thought Dad's going to drink it all up. <laughs> okay. Uh, moonshining, uh, where did you get it? Uh, who, who, who were the moonshiners? Well, we had a neighbor that was making some. What, is that right? Yeah. It was kind of funny. He came over, told Dad, he said um, he lived not too far from us, but there's a creek down behind his house. Uh -huh. He told Dad, said, I'm going to go down, go down and make some moonshine, or whiskey, he called it. Uh -huh. We had a dinner bell. He said, if you see the revenue people, said, ring the bell. Uh -huh. And I thought about that late in the evening. I rang the bell. <laughs> Well, that probably didn't make you too popular with your with your neighbor. I didn't get a whipping for it, though. <laughs> Dad told that man, he said, you shouldn't have said that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Where I grew up, we had a wooded area behind our house with a hollow tree in it that was the exchange point for the, the person that was selling illegal liquor. Yeah, that was a big thing. Um, but I never touched it. You never did. Well, good for you. So, uh, so you you met your wife at a dance, and then you all got married soon after that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so, um, uh, we'll talk a little bit about um, uh, working for cranes. Well, that was an interesting job. You know, those things are, the hearse and limousines are big. Uh-huh. And uh, you'd be surprised at the people, with what the way they get bent was when cemeteries, when they take a person to a cemetery, uh -huh. they was so big, they didn't have the roads big enough for them to get around, or they'd bump them on the corners. Oh, my. Yeah. So then they had to have them repaired? Had to get repaired. And that's and what you all were doing? He, he sold them and rented them and all that too. Mm -hmm. Plus he had a record service. Mm -hmm. Big outfit. Yeah. 
And so uh, your job was uh, in, in the repair shop? In the repair shop. Uh -huh. What kind of hours did you work? Uh, eight till six, an hour for lunch. Mm -hmm. Pretty long day. It was. 34 years. 34 years. Okay. That's when I retired. Uh -huh. So that was, uh, fit, uh, started working there about 1954? I believe it was. 34 years, in, I retired in 90, okay. 1990. So, uh, so uh, 56, I guess. Eight, something like that. Yeah. Well, that's a good long job in one place. Mm-hmm. So they must have been very happy with your work. Uh, so that was in Marietta. Where, where was it exactly in Marietta? Uh, it's just a little piece below the big chicken. Okay. On the left. Uh -huh. uh, below the big chicken going toward, going good, north? No, going to south towards Atlanta. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. how, how far south? Uh, it's on US 41, the four lane? Mm -hmm. Uh, it may uh, not about a quarter mile, I guess. Mm -hmm. You can see the big chicken from where we were. Uh -huh. So um, uh, Pine Forest was right across the street mm -hmm. from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah I was working there when they took all that down. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That was. Uh, I know it was still there in the early '60s. I'm not sure when they. Took that yeah. down, but it's much later than that. They started taking it down. They found out it had, uh, uh, what's that stuff? It was asbestos. Asbestos in it. So, so they had to cover everything up before they could do it. Uh -huh. It was a mess. I bet. We was pretty close to it there, too, right straight across from right. it. So, actually, that was even later. That's probably about the, the uh, uh, about, uh, let me think. Let's well, see, so you retired in 90. That was probably pretty close to the time you retired, wasn't it? Pretty close. They were doing that. Mm -hmm. And then put Sam's and Walmart and mm -hmm. all that in that spot. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, did you, uh, when did you actually move back to Ackworth? Uh, let's see, that I don't remember. We bought a place over on uh, Baker Road in Kennesaw. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how about that? Uh, you, the, the property was bought by a big outfit, and then you moved back to Ackworth up on Cove Street. And uh, we lived over in Kennesaw there for a while before. Mm -hmm. And then we sold that property. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we moved to Ackworth in 85, built a, had a house. Oh, to 80, in 85 to Ackworth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But we lived there in Kennesaw for a while because my wife taught me into buying this little house mm -hmm. and we paid $2,500 for it mm -hmm. on the acre. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. What did you sell it for? 85. Okay, well you made a little money off of it then. And so then you moved uh, in 85 to Ackworth? Yeah. Where, where'd you move to in Ackworth? In, uh, where the old drive-in theater used to be. Oh yeah, okay. On Cove Street. Uh -huh. John Davis built our house. Mm -hmm. And his brother. Yeah. Um, what was Ackworth like in, in the 80s when you came back here? It was growing, really growing. It changed quite a bit. Can you talk about that a little bit? How, how had it changed? Well, they, they widened some of the roads. It, roads used to be wagon roads just about, you know. Uh -huh. And sure. they improved them, improved mm -hmm. on the upside. Mm -hmm. Still improving. Mm -hmm. Well, you had a beach by that time, too. <laughs> well, I was trying to think when you were growing up, uh, that beach came in about the time you were going off to Korea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't, didn't have the 
Well, they had the old road going to Daddy's too. All the roads were dirt back then, mm -hmm. except 41. Yeah. I got pictures of 41 when it wasn't paved. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I think it was in the 20s when they paved yeah. that. Um, um, since um, since the eighties, how has Ackworth changed? Mm. Changing too fast for me, really. Mm -hmm. All these big buildings just don't look right. <laughs> <laughs> don't look right. Why? Well, they don't look like old Ackworth. Oh, okay. So you just soon, soon keep it the way it was. Yes, yeah, I'm kind of old-fashioned, I guess. They've done a pretty nice job of uh, the downtown area. They sure they? have, yeah. Keeping it, uh, those those old buildings uh, still in use. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. what, what has kept you in Ackworth for, I guess, the last um, 15, 18, 33 years now? Uh, well, I bought that place, and I, I just like Ackworth. Mm -hmm. It's simple to get around, and Everything's handy. How many brothers and sisters do you have that live around here? Uh, my sister's dead and raised the only one. Only one way? Mm-hmm. And you say he was the baby of the family? Ray was a baby. And my sister was next to him. Uh -huh. I was oldest. How many brothers and sisters? Just the sister and one brother? Mm-hmm. Just the three of you? Three of them. Well, that was a pretty small family for the farm families back then, wasn't it? Mm hmm When we was too little to do much farming, yeah. it would got a little bigger. Yeah. I, I got to do a little of it, but not a whole lot. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, I guess I'm about out of questions. Uh, um, anything else that you'd like to talk about? Uh, oh, I, I, you worked at a Unique Knitting Company at one time. Mm hmm was that, that was before Korea, though? Yeah, that was when I lived here, I was growing up. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Was, that, was that different than working at the... At the um, cotton the, mill. At the cotton mill? It was a lot cleaner, yeah. They made socks. Uh-huh. So, uh, so you liked that better? It was pretty good. Uh -huh. Any, anything else that you'd like to talk about? Any mm. memories that you have? I guess not. I I'm enjoying where we're at over there, uh -huh. where I live now. Uh -huh. Good neighborhood. Good. So, um, any of the old time friends that are still around here? Well, Willie B. Kemp, he's still around. Yeah. He's 93 or 4. Goodness, he's older than you are. Mm -hmm. We went to school, but he was ahead of me. Uh -huh. And he was a good basketball player, too. Was he really? Yeah. We did an interview with him last year, too. Did you? Uh -huh. Yeah, he's a fine fellow. Yeah. Yeah. Any uh, memories of the churches around here? Mm hmm. No, I guess not. Okay. I remember, uh, and of course, you talked about the schools a little bit. Um, uh, but I remember the old school. Uh -huh. What you will, I can't describe how it looked, but it had a big bell on top that they rang. Uh huh. That's where the this other school is now. Yeah. yeah. We could hear it all the way down to Cotton Mill Village. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Uh, but you never went to that school, did yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, when I left uh, Eli Whitney. She oh. only had four grades in Eli Whitney. Oh, I see. So you had to go to town school. Uh -huh. We had to walk to town school. I see. Now, when you beat up that kid, this was after you'd gone to Ackworth Elementary? No, that's when I was at... That was still Eli Whitney? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I was about nine years old. Mm -hmm. So you went four years then at the Ackworth Elementary? To, to, you know, Eli Whitney. Eli three Whitney. years. I started there in the second grade. Oh, okay. And then uh, several more years at Ackworth Elementary? Went to uh, eighth grade. Through the eighth grade? Mm-hmm. 
You had to graduate from the seventh to the eighth uh -huh. back then. Yeah. Was that a shot going to Ackworth Elementary after Eli Whitney? Mm, kind of, yeah. Different kids to mm -hmm. deal with? Yeah. Did you feel like you got a decent education? Well, all the moving around I did, I got a pretty good education. Well, uh, anything else you'd like to talk about for the interview? Mm -hmm. I guess not. <laughs>